Hi again guys, it's another Gran Turismo 6 tune and video for you today. This time it's for the Audi RS4. So you want your racing soft tyres as always. For the suspension we've got the right height on 90, front and rear. Rounded off the springs to 9 and 7. Dampers and anti-roll all to 4. Camber on 1.5, neutral toe as always. For the gearbox we've got the auto set in as high as possible. And a final drive of 3.9. For the diff... It's a four-wheel drive car, so wheel spin isn't so much of an issue, but I've still put the initial torque nice and low to reduce that. High acceleration and low braking, and as you can see, I've put the torque split to 20% to the front, 80 to the back. You want uh, all your power upgrades, obviously, and I don't actually have NOS on this car because I don't use it that much, but if you do plan on using it a lot, I would recommend it. And weight loss, obviously. Traction control, you really don't need because... Like we've said, it's an all-wheel drive car, so it's got a lot of grip. And uh, especially with all-wheel drive cars, it's a lot quicker if you don't use traction control. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of surprising to me that, considering you know it's 2014, and this is still the only Audi RS4 we've got in the game, I'm surprised that by now they haven't at least added the second-generation RS4. I'm not sure what year that came out, like 2005, 2006, something like that. Um, personally, I'm not so bothered by that, because this version of the RS4 is my favourite of all of them anyway. 2.7 litre bi-turbo. Um, interestingly, this model of the RS4 is the only RS4 that Audi made which was only available as an Avant, which is what Audi calls, or it's what Audi names their estate cars. Which is a bit weird, I would have thought they'd have made an RS4 saloon as well. I know some people have made them, uh, or have made like their own RS4 saloons out of tuned S4s, but obviously, officially, I don't believe Audi ever made any RS4 saloons of this generation. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty quick car, especially considering it's a wagon. It has a cruising speed of about 250 does over 280, I think maybe even over 290 with slip, so it's, it is seriously quick. Obviously with NOS even quicker. But yeah, it's a pretty good car. It's the second fastest estate car in the game. Um, actually, no, no, it's not. The RS, the RS6 is the quickest, but the old generation RS6 is also quicker. So it's the third quickest estate in the game, I believe. So yeah, hopefully this tune setup helps. And as always, thanks for watching.